Hi, I'm Marshall. I'm the owner of Going Gear. This is version two of a gadget I designed. It's called the Numith Tow Hill Lighter. So what is this thing? How does it work? And why would you want one? Well, this is the Numith Tow Hill Lighter. The Tow Hill Lighter was in response to those peanut and capsule lighters that I'm sure a lot of you have seen. Nice little watertight lighters. The problem on them was that the quality was really, really bad. So we used to order them for the store and about 50% of the ones we got just flat out didn't work. Parts would fall off. The threads would cross, they weren't reliable, they didn't last very long. I've had ones that have lasted a long time, but on the whole, most of them didn't last very long. And that's not very good in something that you want as a fire starting method. You know, maybe you needed an emergency, you needed it to be nice and durable and reliable, and that's where the tow hill comes in. So it's basically a high-end version of those peanut or capsule lighters. So it's O-ring sealed, so when you put the fluid in there, it just takes your standard fluid, like your, uh, your Zippo fluid. You can put it there in the bottom, keep it in there nice and sealed, and this thing will basically stay good for forever. You know, if you use it a lot, obviously the fluid's gonna run out, but if you have it sealed up, you can keep this thing, actually have some of the original prototypes that I'd forgotten about, that I found a couple years later, and they still work just fine, which is really nice for a fluid lighter. We have these things precision CNC machined, so nice threading on here. We actually have them use square threads, so the threads wear really well, and they seal really well, and they work really well. We use the high-end uh, aluminum alloy, so the durability is really nice. And the new version of these actually has some machining improvements. So we knocked off some of the sharp edges versus the ones on the original where they're kind of sharp and kind of uncomfortable when you're using it. So we knocked down some of those just so it's a little bit easier to use. But you still do have some, some kind of nice edges down here that are grippy and really easy to use, even if you have wet hands or gloved hands or anything like that. We also added type 3 hard anodizing. So one thing that you'll notice if you had one of the originals is that the orange anodizing was a pretty bright orange. And it was nice because if you dropped it on the ground, it's pretty obvious where it was. This one's still pretty obvious. Even if you drop it in a bunch of leaves, it's still easy to find. It's a nice contrasting color, but it is a little bit darker because that type 3 hard anodizing, uh, they can't do in that bright orange but you get way better scratch and wear resistance. So this thing is a lot more scratch resistant. I actually have my new EDC knife here, uh, Zero Tolerance 770 with a nice high-end steel. Now, if I was doing this on type two hard anodizing, I would basically be scratching off all that anodizing. You can see nothing is happening to the type three. If I really bore down on it, yeah, it would scratch. You can scratch this stuff. It's just a lot harder to scratch than the type two anodizing. So that's why it is a different color. I'm sure we'll have some people complain about that. But uh, I thought that the additional wear resistance was going to be a lot better because we've seen some guys where the anodizing is almost completely worn off. And even if it was that nice bright orange, it's not very useful if it's not there. <laughs> so we decided to go with a little bit darker color that's a lot more durable. We still do have the black. So if you want the black, we have the black available as well. This is the packaging that it comes in. You got the resealable container. We like using stuff that's just a little bit nicer than your average packaging. Is this thing gonna last forever? No, nah, probably not. It's kind of like a high-end Ziploc, but it's something that you could reuse. You can use it to store your lighter or coins or anything else you wanna store in there. And then you have the user manual and you have some spare O-rings. I've been using mine a lot. I personally have never ever worn out an O-ring on any flashlight or anything else. The only exception being the fire piston there you can actually see where we got the color from. We used the same anodizing that we used on our, uh, on our ember orange on the fire pistons. This is the only thing I've ever worn out the O-rings on just because all that friction and gunk in there can wear out the O-rings. But just in case you do, just in case you are rough on your O-rings for any reason, you know, you accidentally slide your knife across there or whatever, uh, you can replace the O-rings and it does come with a couple spares. So again, let me show you the operation of it. Just open it up flick that flint wheel. The flint is replaceable, the wick is replaceable, so you can replace both of those as you, if you want. You can use this as a candle. I wouldn't recommend doing it for very long. And the reason is you can see that heat is gonna be transferring to the wheel. And it's gonna start transferring to the body. This thing's gonna get pretty hot. So don't use it as a candle very long, but you can see it will tail stand. So you can put it down and you know, if you need both your hands to work with, to light whatever, and uh, it'll keep on going. So it'll keep on going until you put it out. You saw earlier, you can just kind of flick it with your finger to put it out. I mean, it's your standard fluid, so it's not gonna get super hot like a butane lighter. But uh, you also don't have to worry about whether or not it's gonna work in really low temperatures or really high altitudes like you do with a butane lighter. 
One quick thing I wanted to note, just in case you get yours and think this is unusual about the anodizing, there are some tiny little spots where the body meets the cap where the anodizing is missing. That is normal, it was just part of the process of when they did the anodizing. The rest of the anodizing is gonna be super durable. So, why would you want a tow hill lighter? Well, just like with the fire piston, we worked really hard to create something that's gonna be nice and reliable and durable and is gonna work when you need it to. So you open this thing up, you have fluid in there, you can get your fire started with that flame. Even if you don't have fluid in there, you can use the sparking. You know, you can use that on a tinder bundle or use that to get a little fire starter started. You have different options with this thing. And you have that O-ring seal on there, so when you have it stored, it's not gonna dry out on you. And that's actually also gonna make it waterproof. So just to show you that it does actually contrast pretty well, especially with browns and other things that you'll find in nature. And to show you that the thing really is waterproof. So this is underwater. You can see I'm moving it around. It really is underwater. All you have to do is pull it out, pull that cap off, and you have fire. Other than the obviously replaceable parts like the O-ring and the wick and the flint, we built these things to last. We built them to be durable. We did not make them to be disposable. We want you to be able to rely on this thing for a really long time. So we did things like we actually machined the attachment point where you can attach your carabine or keychain or lanyard, whatever else you want to attach, out of the same piece of aluminum as the rest of the cap. So this thing isn't going to break off under normal use. If you really wanted to break it off, yeah, you could probably put it under a two-ton press and get it to pop off. But under normal use, you can see it's a nice thick piece of aluminum. It's not coming off. We've got the nice aluminum alloy on here, the Type 3 hard anodizing, O-ring seals, square threads, just everything that's going to make this thing be reliable for a really long time. Okay, that's the New Myth Tow Hill Lighter. If you like it, you can buy it from us at GoingGear.com or any of our dealers that have picked it up. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can reach me in the comments or you can reach any of my guys at GoingGear.com. And if you like the video, please subscribe, do a lot of videos like this, or review a lot of knives and flashlights and other stuff. And that's it. Thanks for watching.